Greetings everyone, the Good Sir Knight here, working out a little review for you. Haven't done one of these videos in a while, because, well, not too much stuff to review. But something did come on, and I'm actually quite excited. As you'll see, when it comes to shotguns, the glorious holy relic that is the boomstick, there's always a need for shells. And, well, as most shotguns, particularly, at least on the state size, are a self-defense sort of item, not the first thing you grab when you might be fighting in an open field or something, but to defend your house, people like shotguns. Now, the thing about shotguns that's great is there's plenty of options to keep all of your ammo on the shotgun. Now, everyone knows the... I say everyone, but most people know about the Tokyo Motory shell caddy that sits on the side of the shotgun. But a lot of people also like to have a buttstock-mounted shell loops. And the benefit of shell loops is it gives you even more ammo. Now, here we have the Spectre Gear shell loops for the M870... Uh, yeah, well, the M870, so... These sit here on the back. They're connected by these elastic loops, one that sits up here in the front and loops through the little sewn-in loop on the inside of the shell loops themselves. Lots of loops. And then the other one has a little buttstock cover that comes back here and keeps it positioned so it doesn't slide forward. This goes through the little black D-ring down here, loops back around and onto itself, and Velcro's in place. Now, you might be thinking, sure, that's great for a IRL M870, but what about the airsoft version? Because, as we all know, there's a gas tank that sits in here. Well, although I've seen some people who have just like the little elastic ones that slide forward and all the other cheap ones, I do like quality to an extent. So, within reason, what you can do is you undo the Velcro here, pop that open, and slide it just a little bit looser. And once it's a tad bit loose, as you can see here, grab it and pull it free. And congratulations, you now have full access, if you can find the pinch point, to your gas tank. So if you run out of, sh of uh, gas and you haven't burned through all your shells, or you've burned through all your shells and run out of gas, but you have a bandolier across your chest like a badass, you'll be able to swap out gas tanks or regas this tank if you're just carrying extra gas, which will be sufficiently lighter, mind you. Keep that in a dump pouch. Seal this back up. This goes back over. All you gotta do is grab your little tab through here, don't let it escape all the way, re-velcro, and boom. It's probably a lot easier to do from a crouched position, but I still got my shells. They're mounted steady, and they're easy to access. Now, as far as reloading goes, pop open a little door here. Of course, everyone knows you can load pretty easily from a very short amount of movement with the caddy, which gives you your first immediate access five shells here. But if you're going to be a bit longer, Having your shells here, I find facing them downwards is easier because if they're facing upwards, you gotta pull them from the top, flip the gun again, and then load them. So to save time, keep them from the underside, pop open your door, reach underneath, pull free said shell, and load. And it's as easy as that. Now getting the shells back in is a bit trickier because although it is steady, it's not the steadiest. But yes, so, with a single gas tank, you'll be able to burn through 12 shells pretty easily. Five on the caddy, six in the loops, and one in the chamber. So that taken care of, you'll get five shots of six BBs and ten with the rest, so you've got more than enough ammo, especially if you're only doing the triple pattern instead of the six pattern. Although the six pattern is far more satisfying, I mean, it's a shotgun. Why wouldn't you use the six pattern? That's... as It's my two cents. I mean, some people like the three pattern, but I'm gonna use the six pattern. And again, with a bandolier of shells, you've got ammo for days. Now keep a little dump pouch, and all you want to do is, with said dump pouch, throw in, I don't know, a little can of gas, and you can either regas it normally, or you can swap it out with the uh, another tank. Although, mind you, these tanks are not light, so it is probably a better option to just gas it from a tank, which will be sufficiently lighter. Now the great thing, shotguns all the ammo's on here, and with your sling, let's say you run out of gas, you're kind of getting away from the point here, but you run out of gas, you can still, well, even without a tactical sling, we've got a little sort of civilian style two point, sling shotgun across back as so, nice and comfy, grab your handgun, and proceed to continue the fight until someone can cover you up. A nice blanket, keep you warm in the winter. Now, nice. someone can give you cover and you can actually access your gas tank and reload. So. Although most people like to go for the more magpul -y sort of setup and everything, and I mean the Magpul's nice. Can't really justify the price, but it is nice. As far as your more stock shotgun setup, shell loops and a caddy. 
Access to your ammo, the ability to stay fighting and keep throwing rounds down range, is the most important, objectively. A sling second, because a sling on a rifle is a holster for a handgun, and then everything else after that, your supplementary stuff is important, although I'd argue a flashlight would probably be your third upgrade, because you can mount it onto the barrel, you can get the magazine extension, as well as the little side uh, sling mount, and you can mount the flashlight on there. Because a flashlight's an important object to have. You might go into a dark building, it could be nighttime, and especially with a home defense, flash, uh, home defense shotgun, you're going to want a flashlight. Now, for airsoft, where everything's in close quarters anyway, the shotgun truly shines and outperforms a lot of other things, particularly in Japan, where everything is really close range. So, shotgun, shotgun, shotgun. I think I covered enough, the notorious boomstick. Shell loops. If you're going to get shell loops, these are probably going to be the ones to go with. I haven't tried the other ones, but this one gives you pretty easy access. And of course, you can move all the stuff around as you need to be, because everything here is adjustable. This comes off one piece here, a piece here that covers the back, and then they all connect to the actual loops themselves. So it's a whole set in three pieces. And that's really all I got for you. I love this thing, and I haven't had a chance to use it in a game, so hopefully, in the very near future, we will remedy that, because, I mean, let's be honest though. I got a bunch of grenades. The grenades are fun, but... At some point, the shotgun's got to get out there, and it needs to, well, basically demonstrate to, well, one, myself, which won't be too hard to convince, but also to everyone else, that shotguns are absolutely fantastic, particularly when coupled with a handgun. So, that's all I really got for you guys, shotguns, I mean, immediately after assault rifles, top tier, absolutely love them, and I guess handguns, and you can start getting to DMRs and everything from there, but yeah. That's all I got for you guys. Shotguns, shell loops, highly recommended, worth the price. Cheers everyone, see you in the next video.